everyone, my name is Ethan and welcome back guys to another episode of the Knights and Dragons Let's Play. Today I've got some awesome, absolutely awesome, awesome, awesome progress to show you guys. It is so wonderful. As you can see, I've only got 10 gems, so we won't actually be opening any chests today. There's a flash sale going on, for those of you who don't know. It'll be over by the time I put this up, but uh, I think it's 40% off or something like that because everything's really cheap. But uh, anyway, that's not what's important. What's important is I got a dragon forge. That's right. I have a Dragonforge. My knight's not wearing it because Dragonforge is so hard to level up. But I did get one. I opened a random chest while I was talking to some friends. And boom! Dragonforge. So let's go. My knights. Ethan R. Pro. Oh. Abandon. Normal relic ruins. That's fine. Where is it? Here it is. It's the Beetlefly Carapace. It's not very cool. It's actually the ugliest Dragonforge ever. But, uh... That's just in my opinion. I don't really like it. But I'm sure I'm going to grow to love it because it's a dragon forge. So that's how that's us done. We don't need to open any more chests for a little while anyway. Because I've got a dragon forge. I've got all these good armors. I want to start focusing on getting better jewelry. Leveling my armors up and maxing them. So what I want to do is I've been saving up my gems. And I actually I have been opening chests. <laughs> but I've been opening the fusion boost chests. I've been getting fusion boost armors to spend on my dragon forge. Slowly leveling it up. It's taken a long time, but we're getting there. Let's see if we have anything we can level it up with right now while we just talk a little bit. So yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put these into it just because I can. But yeah, that is where we are at. We have a dragon forge, which means new goals, new goals, new goals, new goals, which we need to talk about. And you guys may have noticed there's no background sound. I don't know why. Ever since Knights and Dragon updated for me, I haven't been getting any game sounds regardless of what I do. So, uh... A little bit of a pickle there. We don't have anything crafting at the moment. I did a fusion the other day with the epic boss armor. And we ended up with this one here. The crystal fin mail. Which isn't good. It's another mono water. As you can see there's a trend starting here. We have way too much water. The new epic boss is water. So there's not much we can do with that. But anyway guys. Let's talk about our goals before we go into anything. I'm going to show you the slide on the screen right about now. And I'm going to talk about all of the armors that you can see on there. So, magical video editing slide. Here it is, uh, hopefully. <laughs> so what we've got is the Shellshock Battle Gear, the Summoner's Guard, the Kirin Vanguard, the Vargar Realment, Minos, uh, Minos War Gear, Tactician's Regalia, the Voidwalker's Shelter, and the Ashen Fire Robes. Now, some of these we have. Some of them we don't. And just by scrolling through the epic armor list on the wiki i was able to pick out these couple of armors as the best for their element that you can fuse and i've decided i'm gonna go for them so obviously we've already got shell shock we've got the kirin uh we've got the ashen fire robes which leaves us with the summoner the vargar the minos tactician's regalia and the void walker's shelter and i'm sure there are other epics out there that i could fuse that would also be very useful these are just the ones that have popped into my head first and therefore we're going to target these ones so, as we get them done every episode, I'm going to tick them off. If we don't get any done, then sad face, but I won't be able to tick any off. But that's the plan. We're going to move through and try and get all of these armors, and that way we can be pe like not just be stronger, but be diverse. We'll be it's like biodiversity. You got a little bit of everything, so we're more better equipped for raids, for wars, all that sort of stuff. And I want to start spending gems on my raids and on my wars to get higher reward tiers. And maybe, just maybe, eventually, if a guild reaches out to me and is like, Hey, we're going to push top 10 and you've got enough gems for it. Would you like to push top 10 with us? I will. I will jump in a guild. We'll push for top 10. I'll spend, I'll hopefully have enough gems for it because I don't want to buy gems. This is going to be a free let's play. So I'll have to earn them by watching the videos. But when they say, Hey, let's go, uh, we're going to do a tier 10 push. You've got enough gems to be in that tier 10 push. I will, and we'll push, and we'll get ourselves a Raid Dragon Forge, which is going to boost us forward in our power a lot. And now, basically, everything is just about staying up to date and getting better and better gear and getting stronger and stronger. So as you can see here, I'm going to try and open up the Epic Boss. I'm going to try and find the Epic Boss. Oh, we got a key. That's fantastic. But, uh, whoa, everything just went black for a second. That was weird. Let's, uh, let's just try and get to the Epic Boss here so we can do a kill of her. She's very easy. Uh, it's, oh, it's a Water Spirit, which I don't need. But uh, down this track, it will be good because 
If I get a mono air epic, I can fuse it with a water spirit and I could get my Voidwalker shelter. Or I could get another Kirin Vanguard, which isn't a bad thing either. There's nothing wrong with having doubles of your armors. So let's go ahead and we'll attack this chick with our Kirin Vanguard. I would really like to max this armor as well. But obviously I'm going to prioritize maxing the Dragonforge now. Which is, yeah, you know. The Dragonforge does take priority because it is going to make me a lot stronger. So, oh, there we go. Rank 6. I had done a couple of kills before this. And there are a lot of epic boss kills that I can do here. And we're going to keep going through. Uh, we might Let's just do one more. One more. And then we might go into the arena for the day. Because I haven't been doing heroic mode as much as I would like. I'm not going to finish it on this account. But I have gotten some levels out of it. You know, I've probably gotten 10 levels or 6 levels. Or I don't know. But I've gotten some levels, which is what's important. Uh, it's getting harder and harder to level. I d it was not this hard to get to level 100 when I first did it on my original account. So, come on, Epic Boss. You're wasting my time. <laughs> and then after this, obviously, because we were talking about guilds, I'm going to show you the Oracle Guild again, which I'm currently in. If any of you guys would like to join, you're just going to contact the guys online. It might actually be open for people to join, but uh, in order to stay, you have to get into the line group. I'm in there, by the way. You know, if I'm in the line group and I talk a lot, I really like the guys in this guild. So I'll show you their contact details right about now. Here we go, guild. So guy members must use the line app. Uh, looking to hit top ranks with friendly players. Message headhunter0492 online. We are, we're currently level 37 and our bonuses are like this. 7%, 7%, 6%, 6%, and 6%. We really need to boost these further. But it looks like there's another one we can buy here that uh, could be awesome. Hopefully we'll be able to get that done ASAP. Let's use this key that we got. Maybe get some gems. I have noticed that the orange chest, now that it is the basic, the first chest, I've noticed that I get gems from it a lot less often. And today, we got ourselves a little bit of jewelry. We've got two million, uh, yeah, two million again. And I don't want to fuse armors, I want to fuse rings. We really need to start looking at leveling our rings up some more. Because our jewelry is seriously lacking. Our all-seeing Aegis... Aegis, however you say it, could easily be a 3k, 3k armor, but it's not, mainly because we're not level 100, and because our jewelry is terrible. It is absolutely terrible. So let's, um, yeah, I don't even care if I'm taking it off someone on the Epic Boss. Let's just do it. Let's try and get some higher level rings here. There we go. This is getting better, looking better. Bing. Still not a good ring, though. What else have we got in here? Let's get some of these lower level ones here. You fuse these together. It's not a bad thing, you know, to, oh, that's a bummer. Same kind of ring. It's not a bad thing to spend your gold on rings. I believe it's a good thing anyway. Jewelry is a make or break in this game. Uh, let's just keep that one. Let's keep that one. My jewelry is very sketchy. And because I haven't been doing very well in the wars, uh, I need to really focus on getting higher reward tiers in the wars and getting myself some better rings. I don't want to enhance. Let's look at our amulets as well. So we've got these ones here. And in all honesty, I thought these emulets were fine. And then I found out that they're not. These emulets actually turn into the chokers. These ones. I consider these emulets here to be bad. So I didn't realize that I had the tier below it. But yes, I had the tier below this. And uh, there's nothing I can really put it with. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. I've never fused a fusion boost emulet thing before. Nothing happened. <laughs> it just re-rolled the stats? Yeah, it did. Pretty safe way, uh, for those of you who don't know, if it's got the same level of rarity, you can... Uh, so, what's a good way to explain? Oh, we'll, we'll do it here. See this Pendant of Youth? It is better than these charms here, but they have the same stars. You can see they're both silver stars, which means I can take one of these low-level Pendant things here and re-roll the stats on my star and also have a small chance of getting a better amulet altogether. It could level up to a gold star, or... It could just re-roll the stats. So if you've already got a really high level piece of jewelry that you like, but it needs better stats, you can re-roll them. That simple. Uh, let's put this one and this one together, and then we'll do our arena and we'll finish up for the day. Because not a lot has happened. This is the dull week. Uh, the war finishes, and there's no fusion boost war. We have to wait, I think it's four days, five days for the raid. So that's sort of a little bit... It's. Yeah, they definitely need another event to go in between there. Oh, are we going to win this? Uh, yes, we are. Come on, I believe in you. Yeah, we are. We got this. Come on, hit. Yes. It's so weird not having sounds on. This is bizarre. <laughs> 
Easy win. A couple more to go. We're not going to get to this next reward tier just yet, but at least we'll get some gems for it later on in life. But yeah, um, if you guys do know of any armors that I should add to my list, please leave them in the comments below because I just had a quick look. I just sort of went through and I was like, these are the ones that I think I need, and I went with those. So yeah, if you guys do have a suggestion, of course, your input is always welcome. This series is about building the best account that we can. We, as in you guys giving me advice, because I don't know everything. I'm not that good at the game. Come on. Ah. Oh, no, wait. We're still good on this. All right. Boom. Too easy. The Harlequin is a cool armor, but the All-Seeing Aegis is stronger. So uh, it's all good. And yeah, guys, if you do want to join the guild, please go and hit those guys up because I would like to get some higher reward tiers and the more the merrier when it comes to guilds. You know, the more of you are, the more points you're going to have. That's just how it is. But yeah, guys, I think that's going to do it for today. I wanted to just catch you all up really quickly because it's been a couple of days since the video. Hopefully next episode, we'll have some raid footage in there, which is a lot more exciting, obviously. And that way you guys can see how I'm raiding and you can tell me how you're raiding, how you guys are going. So yeah, guys, if you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like. I do... Sincerely hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye for now.